Hi everyone, my name is Casey. As some of you may already know, I studied graphic design and illustration at university and I absolutely love my course. Um, so today I thought I could do sort of like a little challenge that incorporates my degree. I'm going to do some design work, some illustration work. I thought that since I produce and sell my own greetings cards anyway, I would do sort of like a greetings card challenge. So I was thinking of doing some birthday cards, keep it pretty generic and it can be used all year round. So yeah, I'll take you along with me. Most of it is going to be sort of time lapses. So I'll speed it up for you and do some voiceovers as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna head on upstairs to my office now and uh, start with some research, I think. As I mentioned, step one is research. So no matter what design project I'm working on, what sort of illustration I'm looking to produce, I always start with a bit of research. Now, depending on what I'm actually producing, the amount of time I spend on research does vary. So if I'm just doing a simple spot illustration, I might only spend a couple of minutes researching, just getting some ideas, getting some inspiration. It's absolutely okay to be inspired by other artists' work. Obviously, you can't directly copy, there is a fine line, but being inspired is definitely absolutely okay, especially if you have a very unique style as well and you're producing it in your own sort of way. So now that I've done a little bit of research, I'm moving on into the sort of sketching stage. So I'm just starting by drawing out a rough layout of what my card's gonna look. So I keep the same um, card backing for all of my designs just to keep it consistent. So there's a little scribble on the screen there of what my logo is and then it'll have my name on the back. And then also like a little made in the UK sort of stamp at the bottom because I do keep all my uh, printing within the UK and obviously it's designed in the UK as well. On the right hand side I'm just dropping down a few puns to use within my cards because obviously you can just use happy birthday or congratulations but I just like add that like sort of funny little twist on them. So one of my puns here involved like lemons, I think it was like have the zest birthday um, so I was just drawing out some lemons there to kind of get an idea of you know, what I want it to look like, I was drawing some more realistic lemons and then I, you know, did a couple of some faces on it to kind of see what a character of a lemon might look like. Then the next one, I moved on to eggs, so I'm sure you could have guessed by now, it was have an excellent birthday, I know. Some people are not a fan of puns, but I just love them, I love that they're really cheesy, I think they're great. Um, again, I was using the idea of having the sort of character within the egg, I quite like doing that, my last range of uh, greetings cards were all puns around animals and I gave the uh, animals sort of like a little caricature feel of it. They weren't necessarily realistic because it's not my style. You'll see a bit more of my style when I go into colouring the illustrations a little bit later on. So now I've just moved on to sort of getting an idea of what colours I want to use. So again, a little bit brighter than perhaps a realistic lemon would be but I like the kind of bold brightness um, that that gives. So an important thing about my work is I love to include texture. So even though I'm doing this all digitally, of course, on my iPad, I just love using texture as well. When you are drawing something with pencil and paper, you get the texture of the graphite or the coloured lead, and I just absolutely love that, obviously, I could draw this all by hand, it just takes longer and the undo button is honestly a lifesaver and you don't have that in real life. So I do enjoy uh, using digital medias for when I'm doing my greetings cards and things like this, but I just absolutely love being able to get the uh, rough textures within the brushes within the software I'm using and in case any of you are interested, it's Procreate which is an app for the iPad. I also love to include like shading and highlights, it's something that I've definitely improved over the years, I used to not really bother with it and my images would come out quite flat looking, which is fine if that's your style, but I didn't really like it for my style, I don't think it suited it. And of course my style has changed massively over the years, it's always changing, um, I like to think it's always improving. When I look at my work a few years ago compared to now, I definitely think my work has improved. I don't know if you've noticed about my style, but I tend to, whilst using all the rough textures of the uh, brushes on Procreate, I then use a really harsh line of the eraser 
um, to rub out sort of like the surrounding areas so that the edges of my illustrations are really sharp and crisp but all the textures within obviously rough and uh, kind of like blended and I really love that contrast within my work. Again, it's not for everyone, it just depends on what your style is but I absolutely love it. I think this is my final sort of set of illustrations down here. So these are my avocados. Uh, I think these ended up being my favourite. Uh, it doesn't quite look at its best at the moment but just you wait by the time we uh, finish it off I'm really happy with this one So here I'm just um, naming the files that I'm drawing on and saving them uh, before moving them over into Photoshop. So still on the iPad, haven't moved to a computer or anything. I like to be able to do as much as physically possible uh, on my iPad because my computer is very, very slow and also it's just easier to keep it all within. So I've already got my greetings card template on Photoshop that's already saved blank file. So I created my illustration on Procreate, I moved it over to Photoshop just to do a few extra tweaks and so now I've moved it onto a separate Photoshop file where my card template is. And now's uh, the moment that I'm going to add my text to the card as well. This, I faffed around a lot with this, I'm very much a perfectionist when it comes to sort of like text like this because it is hand drawn um, and I do love the style of it being hand drawn. I could make a font of this if I wanted to but I don't, I like that it's really natural um, but it just means it is a bit fiddly and if you're like anything like me and you're too much of a perfectionist you will rewrite it so many times. I'm then also trying to find a way here to highlight the kind of pun um, aspect of the text and again this is sped up a lot but this was a solid like eight minutes of me just drawing that green line until I'm happy with it which is I know is ridiculous but again the perfectionist within me just wasn't having it. Now I'm moving on to the second and final greetings card to design so you may have noticed by now that my lemon illustrations didn't make the cut they just weren't my favourite I much preferred the little egg yolk here and the avocado as well. So with the background, I went plain and simple. I just have, basically I use the eyedropper tool within the illustration and then just found a much more desaturated, lighter version of that color. So the avocado was a nice green background and now the egg is kind of like a yellowy, creamy background. I did, again, fiddle with that a lot because I just wanted it to be perfect. And when you've got a paler background but white text, you want to make sure that when it does go to print, it's um, not going to get lost or anything. You want it to still have that level of contrast. And again, here I am fiddling with that line underneath the pun. I think I might have fiddled even longer with this one, actually. Yeah, because I, I made it longer. It is all just about what you like and what your style is. Um, these are sort of the bits that you don't see and here I am fiddling with the background again It's just one of those things when you spend so long looking at a design you just find things wrong with it So here are the final designs. I absolutely love how they turned out um, I think the contrast is really good. The avocado is definitely my favorite by far um, But I do love the little egg as well uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think down below, which one's your favourite. Um, definitely leave a comment if you're interested in these sort of videos, because this was great fun to do. Thanks so much for watching, and again, let me know if you like these kind of videos, and we can definitely do more of them in the future. Bye!